Belisarius was a famous Byzantine general in the 6th century AD. He was born around 505 AD in the city of Germania now Germany and died in 565 AD in Constantinople. Belisarius was a highly skilled general and successfully led Byzantine forces in many important battles. He was also a trusted general of Emperor Justinian I, who ruled the Byzantine Empire from 527 AD to 565 AD. One of Belisarius' greatest victories was when he successfully recaptured the city of Rome from the Ostrogoths in 536 AD. The war referred to as the Gothic War, which occurred between 535 AD and 554 AD between the Eastern Roman Empire, led by Emperor Justinian, and the Ostrogoths, who had conquered Italy. At the beginning of the war, the Ostrogoth forces led by King Theodahid had attacked Rome in December, 536 AD. Emperor Justinian then called upon Belisarius to lead Byzantine forces in an effort to recapture the city. Belisarius led around 7,500 troops, consisting of infantry and cavalry, as well as 500 ex-convict soldiers taken from prisons in Constantinople. The Byzantine forces managed to attack Rome through a gate that had been left open by the Ostrogoth forces, who had gone out in search of food. Belisarius and his troops were able to quickly and bloodlessly recapture the city of Rome. King Theodahid, who was then in Ravenna, panicked and fled to a safer location. After recapturing Rome, Belisarius also succeeded in recapturing the regions of Campania and Sicily from the Ostrogoth forces. However, the war did not end quickly. The Byzantine and Ostrogoth forces continued to fight for several years, and finally, in 540 AD, the Byzantine forces succeeded in recapturing Ravenna, the capital of the Ostrogoths. The new Ostrogoth king, Totila, then led his forces in an effort to recapture Italy, but he was also defeated by the Byzantine forces led by Belisarius in 552 AD. During his career, Belisarius formed several elite military units that were famous for their skills and toughness on the battlefield. 1. Buccellari The Buccellari were a light cavalry unit made up of middle-class men who owned their own horses. This unit was very agile and skilled at attacking the enemy. Belisarius utilized this unit in various battles, including the battles of Dara and Tricamarum. 2. Huns Belisarius recruited a large number of mercenaries from the Hun tribes. This unit was known for its speed and ability to attack the enemy. The Hun troops were led by a commander named Aspikin. 3. Fodorati Belisarius also recruited a large number of mercenaries from Germanic tribes known as the Fodorati. This unit was famous for their bravery and tough fighting ability. 4. Excubators the Excubators were the Byzantine palace guard unit led by a commander named Magister. This unit consisted of elite soldiers who were specially trained in martial arts and the use of sharp weapons. Belisarius' leadership is considered one of the outstanding examples of military leadership in history. There are many moral messages that can be drawn from Belisarius' leadership. Loyalty to the country, Belisarius always fought for the interests of Byzantium and led his troops with strong determination and spirit to defend the honor and security of his country. Tactical Intelligence Belisarius was a highly skilled general in planning military tactics and executing them very well. He always paid attention to the condition of the battlefield and exploited the weaknesses of the enemy to gain advantages. Leading by example, Belisarius not only led by command, but also set an example by showing courage and toughness on the battlefield. He always inspired his troops with a positive attitude and high fighting spirit. Ability to recruit troops. Belisarius was able to recruit skilled and tough troops and form elite units that were famous for their skills and toughness on the battlefield. Justice and tolerance. Belisarius always treated his enemies fairly and did not engage in unnecessary revenge. He also showed tolerance for various beliefs and cultures in the areas he controlled. Humility 
Despite being a highly renowned and successful general, Belisarius remained humble and not arrogant. He always appreciated the success of his troops and recognized their contributions in every victory achieved. These moral messages can be applied to many areas of life, whether in the military, business, or daily life. 